Hello, and thank you for your interest in CanArm. Today we will be looking at our P1107-F motor label and explaining the individual elements that appear on it. In this example, it will have loose wire connections. This is a general overview, and as always, a qualified electrician should perform the hookup. Let's take a look at the P1107-F motor label. As you can see, on the left hand side, it can be wired for 115 volt single phase low voltage, or on the right side for 230 volt single phase high voltage. Let's begin by looking at the left hand side of the label for low voltage 115 single phase hookup. Line 1 and line 2 will refer to your leads. Insulate will refer to capping off with a wire nut or a moret. P1 motor lead is connected to line 1, your hot. Black, white and yellow motor leads are twisted together and connected to line 2, your neutral. This leaving the red, P2 and orange to be twisted together and capped off with a wire nut or moret. Now let's look at the right hand side of the motor label for high voltage, 230 volt single phase hookup. Line 1 and line 2 will refer to your leads. Insulate will refer to capping off with a wire nut or moret. P1 motor lead is connected to line 1, your hot. Black and yellow motor leads are twisted together and connected to line 2, your second hot. P2 is left on its own and capped off with a wire nut or moret leaving the red, orange, and white motor leads to be twisted together and also capped off with a wire nut or moret. We hope you find this video informative. For other frequently asked questions, please visit our website at www.canarm.com HVAC. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more helpful how-to and product videos.